Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to PIR. This is Pier 1 Imports. This is the StockSwish Show Play of the Day. And it worked out very well here today. Really like this gap and actually preempted the, the gap. Uh, saw it before it even happened. I was going to work good eye on this. And, and it reminds me of something that I said in the room today, this morning to everybody, which is when you decide you want to focus on one strategy and even in one direction, you can get a really good instinct and eye for things. I have a great eye for weakness, better than anyone I know, because all I like to do is short. Now, I can call longs. I can see longs. I can see strength. I do call longs. I call the market longs a day. But I have a very good eye for weakness. So I saw that this was going to do the break today before it did it. And, and lo and behold, it did it. I saw the weakness in what? I saw the weakness in the gap and the overall price of the gap, okay? So I did this trade. I did this trade here, and let's look at it. It's a weird one here because it opened late. You know, every once in a while that happens, and what are you going to do? It didn't open right away here. I think this was actually the first bar of the day here, and that's how I played it. That's how I played it here. Shorted in here, dropped on down, could have done a nod in here, dropped on down, could have done a nod in here. I actually kept the stop on this one for the initial thing. So I wanted to make sure that this backed up here that it did not get over it and then lowered a little bit down in here. And then it held. And then it broke and broke and broke and broke. And really the target of the day for this a dream, dream target. Let me just see here what it was. Dream target was $17. It's not going to get there. I thought 1780 was realistic, but the market's just too strong here today. But there is a possibility that this actually could break 18 and get down to 17 still here today before 4 o'clock. It's going to be late this afternoon, though. If you want to watch this to short on a late, late, late play on a 15-minute between 12 and 2 o'clock reversal time, you can do it to see if it can get it down to break the low of the day and go in the teens. Target then would be 1780. I'm all out of this now. It was a nice trade this morning. Gave it a chance to keep going and uh, just did all that it could do and, and got down to 1806. And so I still really do think that this is lower. It's either going to break again today or Monday, actually. So we'll have to see what it does. Really nice gap here in the pier and nice overall look at the weakness. And you have to feel conviction when you take a trade. If you are scared when you take a trade, if it doesn't go on to work right away and backs up into your price that you want to kill it, then you really don't understand the directional bias that you're trading the stock. Because that's what people sometimes do. They short something and they say, oh, crap. And then they buy something. Then they see it. Then they, quick, they kill the long and they short it again. It was always a short. It's a short. It's a bearish gap down. It was a quality bearish gap down. This rated very well. It was good. And it's a short. Just because something doesn't go right away. And this did have a move down here. Okay. But it, 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 it did have a move down here. I wanted to see more. It got going later. But it was taking its good old time a little bit here. And there's nothing wrong with that. You, you can't kill a trade right away is in fear. Now, many times I like to take a trade and I like to fall off the planet right away. Do I get that every day? No. That's not realistic. That's why you have to have a full understanding of the gap, of the gap itself. Pier closed the night before last night, closed to 2006. Open now the next morning today at 1842. So you have to have an overall understanding of this gap. And if you do, you feel, can feel confidence and conviction in shorting it. Had a beautiful move this morning here, all out of this thing. Really, today is a day, though, I think you want to take it easy in the afternoon. It's Friday, last day of the month. It was a good month. I don't see any reason to trade this afternoon at all. But if you really wanted to watch something for a short back down to the lower day or for a different target, you could watch Pierre here. It's got a hold. Um, if this rallies back all the way up to the high of the day, then I wouldn't short it. Okay. Nice gap, though, move this morning here in the pier. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. It's Friday, February 28th, last day of the month. The Golden Gap class is March 8th and 9th for March. If you are interested in taking the gap course to learn how to trade gaps and find and pick gaps like pier, to know to short this in the morning, to know that it was going to work as a short to take the entries, then you can email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.